Kitty Blue here. It is almost St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. I was actually hoping this doll arrived tomorrow so I could say that her birthday is on St. Patrick's Day, but I can do that anyways. Um, I'm just opening her today, but she is going to be a St. Patrick's Day girl, um, and I'm giving her an Irish name. So, here we go. The box opening. I'm going to do this, unfortunately, really quick because um, I don't know how much space I have left on my phone. So she is a very, very special, special doll. Get out our goodies. when I get her out. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So this is Survivor. Survivor is a Geo 7. Um, what he did, originally it was just going to be the head, I think, and the bust that he did um, with this marbling, but he actually did it Trying to see if you can see the marbling. It's very hard to see on my phone. It wants to darken and lighten. But you can see the marbling that's going on there. And she's got a T head cap. Um, the joints are T. So gorgeous. Like I said, he was originally planning on just doing the head and I think the bust. But um, she is a full marble doll. She's got this tiny little beauty mark. Um, like I said, her name is Survivor, and uh, she is basically to be like um, a doll to represent anybody that has scars and everything on their body, and just a survivor in general. But yes, so gorgeous. And I'm, I'm excited to see what other people's look like because they're probably going to be different because of the marbling. Okay, so she comes with a maple wig, which I am going to use a different wig. Um, I also got these pants, these um, pastel pink pants, and I got the gray hoodie. This is her stand and her car. So the wig I'm actually going to put on her is this one. Um... I'm going to, I think I'm going to use her as the sister, the sister of um, my strength, which is Siobhan, and um, her name is going to be Saoirse. I will write that name in the um, description, but yes, happy St. Patrick's Day. I think she looks really cute. I think she looks really cute in this blonde wig. I don't know. We'll see. I've got tons of wigs to try on, so I'm going to try on some different wigs on her. Her eyebrows are pretty dark brown. Um, she's got brown eyes as well, which I may change, but um, yeah, she's gorgeous. Or I may keep them as brown, because I don't know if I kept any of my doll's eyes brown. But yes, oh, she's so gorgeous. She's just amazing. It's like I almost hate to like, maybe I should just like leave her bald and call her Sinead. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not making fun of bald people or people that have gotten scarred and are bald. I just think she is gorgeous and she would look great bald. Too bad the head cap isn't marbled. That would be awesome. But yes, Geo 7 Sculpt. I think she's still available um, on the website. There's not too many, I guess not too many people care for her, like um, Liberty and Valiant, but I really love the fact that he is um, doing different dolls with different um, vitiligo, birthmarks, and now the scarring. Um, I think it's great that he does that. He's got some medical equipment that's like listed on their website. 
um, inhalers and insulin pumps. They're, they're all just fabulous. And um, he's actually coming out with some crutches. So it's, it's nice that he's doing um, different things for people that have medical issues. Um, I don't want to say disabilities. I, I really don't like that word. Um, but yes, have some medical issues or um, things like that they have had to live with scarring or any other kind of issue. I, I just think Survivor is just a great... Not only because she's got the scarring and it could be a survivor of somebody that is, um, has been scarred like this, but I think it's a rep representation too. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to make light of anybody that has unfortunately um, been in some type of an incident where they've got scarring all over their body. I'm not trying to make that like, like insignificant or anything, but I feel like the word survivor and the doll just represents... I mean, even people with emotional scars, inner scars, um, you know, just in general, surviving of anything that um, has been an obstacle in your life. So, yes, she is probably going to be one of my favorite dolls now. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, her name is going to be Sher Sir <laughs> Sirsha. Oh my gosh, I can't even pronounce it. It's like S-A-O-I-R-I-C-E, I believe. But yeah, it's an Irish name. So yes, happy St. Patrick's Day. See you next time.